the Eagle Rock. <laughs> all right, all right, Tig, you beat me. Come on, get off. You're really squishing my tail. Yay! Woohoo! Tig is the winner. Tig is the strongest. <laughs> Tig, King, King of the, the Taiga. <laughs> oh. 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 Mappa Pandiga. Good morning, Mappa Pandiga. Good morning, children. Leo and I are just playing. <laughs> playing what? King of the Taiga. Tig's the king. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Amur Tiger once earned the right to be called the King of the Taiga. Just like the white shouldered eagle is the king of the sky. The king of the sky? I've never really heard of him. Tell us the story, Mappa Pandiga. Pretty, pretty, please. <sighs> it was a long time ago. There was no order among the bird folk. The strong would wrong the weak, and no one was there to stand up for them. Then, the birds got together and decided to choose themselves a king who would be kind, strong, and fair. The choice fell on the eagle. But the jealous vulture cried out, He needs to prove that he's the strongest! Let's have a competition. He who's the first to get to the top of a high mountain at sunrise will become the king. And so it was set. But at night, the vulture stole the eagle's wings, put them on, and flew to the summit. But when the sun came up, it scorched the sneaky vulture and made him turn black. And the eagle received a pair of new wings from the sun. Thus he became white-shouldered. And that's how they've been ever since. The white-shouldered eagle, the king of the sky, and the black vulture who was left to feed on nothing but carrion. Mappa Pandiga, so where did those old eagle wings go? I don't know. Probably still somewhere on the Eagle Mountain. All right, kids, that's enough for today. I've got things to do. <laughs> Tig, do you want to go for a walk? Walk where? Well, nowhere special, really. Just wander around a bit. I'm pretty good right here. Leo, what are you up to? Come on, King of the Taiga! <sighs> Just a little more! Yeah, so what? It's nothing special. Of all the places to wander, you want to come here? What's the big deal? No big deal. But there are no wings lying around in other places. What are you saying? Come on, Tig. We're climbing the Eagle Mountain! Are you insane? It's the highest, most dangerous mountain, period. Leo, Tig! Oh boy, they're about to fall. Uh, I must call everyone for help. Uh, Grandpa, I'm gonna do a run up and soar into the air. Oh, it's such a pity that you won't be able to see it. A run? Jump! <laughs> that one doesn't count. This time I'm definitely gonna fly. <laughs> of course you're gonna fly. You're an eagle. It's just that, well, you're not ready yet. But I feel like I'm ready. A run, a jump. Elder Eagle. We've just seen a leopard and a tiger on the mountain, climbing to the top. Wow, awesome! I wonder what they're doing here. We'll find out soon enough. Leo, why do we even need wings? They're not that great. Think about it! Once you get yourself some wings, you can become not just the king of the... Tiger, <sighs> but of the sky too. Why should I care about the sky? I'm perfectly fine with the taiga. Tig, uh, push it uh, closer to the rock. Leo, you're kicking up too many rocks. It's not me. It's a stone ball. Thank you for 
saving us. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd be crushed by those stones. Tell me this. What business has brought Wingless to our mountain? We... we just wanted to find ourselves some wings, so that Tig could become a real king of the sky. <laughs> king of the sky? Having wings is not enough for that. Uh, I've got wings right here. When do I become the king? It's the vultures! How dare they show up at our beautiful mountains! Don't worry, sir. We'll take care of them. You better leave this place now and hurry. Well, old man. Long time no see, as they say. <gasps> Grandpa, that's the Black Vulture! Ah, it's you. I've thrown you out of these mountains more than once before. <laughs> yes, but this time your guardians are far away. And you've become a feeble, lame, and blind old geezer. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Let the young one go. No, I will not. Say goodbye to your little hatchling. No, please. Grandpa! Stay here. I'll be right back. Lily, go. wait! Hey, you! Let him go ah. right now! And who's this little nuisance? Grab him! <laughs> no, Leo! No, 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 no! Goodbye, Grandpa. old man! Grandpa Eagle, we need to save them! My wings are still very strong and powerful, but I'm blind. I know! I can be your eyes and I'll guide you. You, who were born without wings, are not scared of flying? Oh, I'm really scared, but we can't abandon them. Let's go! To the left. To the right. A bit more. Aha! We've almost caught up with them. He slipped into a ravine. Ah, uh, the passage is too narrow. I spent my entire life among these incredible mountains. I know every blessed rock here. Initiate the countdown! Three, two, one, and go! Whoa, yeah! That was awesome! We've caught up with them! You wretched old man! I underestimated you! But you won't get them The back. vultures dropped them! They're falling! We have to catch them! Go down! Quick! <laughs> I can fly! I can fly, Grandpa! I'll be our eyes now! Enough flying for me. Can we land? So you are saying that they were climbing on the Eagle Mountain? Oh, I really shouldn't have told Leo and Tig that Eagle legend. Oh dear. Look there! What's that way up above? That's Leo. <gasps> and Tig, they're flying. Grandpa. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no. I should thank you, brave-hearted tiger. You are a king indeed. A king? Who? Tig? Come visit us when you can. We'll always be glad to see you. For sure. We'll fly you around. Grandpa, follow me. Let's go home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Flying? Well, uh, thanks, but <laughs> that's okay. I think I'll Well pass. then, King, you want to play tag? You're it! Forget about it, Mila. I'm no king. Ha! Reels it! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's not those who are strong and cunning who inspire tales. 
but those who are brave and kind. Things. There are people down here. Sorry. Proceeding with collecting a new shipment of cones. Flying high. Whew. Almost ready. We just need to reinforce it from inside. Leo, let's leave it. It's fine like that. <laughs> hi, everyone. Glad to oh, see hi, you. Oh, hi, Mila. We're off to get more branches. You stay here and keep watch. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh We've been gathering these branches all day long. If we keep going, the trees will be bare. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm gu... Who am I guarding it from? <laughs> all right. The spotty and the stripey went away. Hey, get on over here now, shorty. <laughs> this is our meadow now, with all its raspberries. What do you mean it's yours? The meadow is public, and the fortress is ours. <laughs> It used to be, but not anymore. <laughs> Martins, attack! Get her! No! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> oh, dear me! <laughs> you nailed him, guys! Mila, don't be afraid! I'm not, you know. Shoot down that, uh, butterfly! Hey! Bush Leaguers! <laughs> hey, Shorty! Get out of our fortress! Oh, you're all alone now! <laughs> Go! <laughs> She's not alone! Ah, the spotted one! This is our fortress! It used to be, it's not anymore! So I've been carrying these branches for nothing? Martins, attack! Ah, oh. ah, Martins, fall back! <laughs> this is not over yet! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Right. And that don't come pizza. back! You hear that? I hope you learned your lesson! And don't try to scare <laughs> me again! <laughs> I can't believe this. We got beaten by the spotty and the stripey. Shame on our heads. <gasps> Look here. This is Beals's lair. Well, well, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Mmm, raspberry. Nice, sweet raspberry. Lots of it. Lots of it. And then Mila screams, attack them! <laughs> Did you see me? I grabbed one of them. Boom. And that was it. The fight was over. And I'm like... 
Don't you come back! <laughs> it was awesome! <laughs> Leo! We should run! Scared much? That'll teach you not to get in our way. It's our meadow now, with raspberries and everything. So, hey, guys. Does it mean that our meadow and our fortress, all of that is gone? Calm down, Mila. We'll get it all back. Yeah, sure we will. Wait. Leo, did you see it? <laughs> We're not strong enough. We can't beat Beals. I think I know someone who can help us. Uh, dear Mr. Beals, <laughs> we, we had a deal that half of the raspberries would be ours. Okay, okay. We get it. We totally get it. We do. We totally do. We're leaving already. Run! <laughs> 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 oh, no, kids. <laughs> I'm a bit too old to fight the brown bear. You are our only chance to beat him. Leo, let's give up and go to the river. Wait a minute. Mapa Pandiga? So there's no animal in the forest stronger than the brown bear? Huh. Once upon a time, brown bears had no reason to doubt that. There was no animal stronger than them. So the brown bear grew vain and started to abuse his power, doing bad things. But for every power, there's an even stronger power. The spirit of the tiger always has his children's back. What do we do now? Search for the spirit of Taiga again so he chases Beals away? No. We'll get him ourselves. Okay. Mila, I need you to distract Beals. And Cuba, sneak up on his right side. <laughs> you. Tig. Look at who decided to visit us. Shush! That glutton kicked us out. He promised to share the raspberries with us. <laughs> Let me guess he didn't. Sure enough! Okay. Right now, we need to join forces and chase him away. Well, are you with us? For sure. We're with you. But we go 50-50 on the raspberries. <laughs> Right, we found it first. <laughs> oh! Who do you think you are destroying our fortress? Go away right now! Oh, I get it. You want to show me something? You're home. Why don't you go back inside? Oh, I see. There's something blocking it. <laughs> don't sting me now. <laughs> are you saying thank you? Huh? Mila's in danger! Bees, will you help me? Please? <laughs> <laughs> Throw more! Throw more! Uh oh, we ran out of pine cones! Ouch! <sighs> oh, oh no! Is that the spirit of Taiga? 
Yes! He came here to help us! <laughs> but how did he know? That's right! Run away! Go on! Run faster! The spirit of Tyga's gonna get you! <laughs> Bye, bees! Thank you for helping! You go defeat another enemy! For his valor and outstanding flying, Marty is rewarded with a delicious raspberry! <laughs> Ooh, these are good raspberries! <laughs> Tag, <laughs> you're it! Not fair! Cause you… you took a shortcut! Hi guys! I made a song, you know! You wanna hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Mila, sing? Mila, let's play tag instead! <laughs> Tig is it! No, I'm not! Not anymore! <laughs> Just you wait! <laughs> Winter Tale. No, oh, King. Kids, today I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song. Right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago. There lived a bear who was very strong and kind, taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows, and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back, about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... <sighs> Papa Pandiga, Spring. is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Uh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's home. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Beelzy and see everything. Leo! Are you sure about that? There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll just take a peek and get out. Ah! Leo! Leo! What should we do now? How can we put him 
I know what to do. Here goes. Beelzy will fall asleep again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Piece of cake. Snowball tree berries. <laughs> the trees in a delicate veil the earth will put on a fluffy white hat sleep tight baby bear rest your head have no fear have wonder i don't think he's falling asleep like a mole in his burrow like a fox in his hole and afterwards winter will bid you goodbye and spring will arrive in the blink of an Trees and bright flowers and murmuring creeks The air is so warm, but for now you should sleep Well done, Mila! That was so great! Thank you so much, Magic Birdie! How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Boy, it's heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. So, is 
he is he up with his front paw in his mouth? Mila, why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn. Oh, sleep tight, baby bear. Rest your head. Have no fear. <laughs> oh, come on. What's so funny? I'm not that bad. <laughs> like, like mole in his burrow, like, like fox in his, his hole. And afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. The air so warm. But for now, you should sleep. And that's how a good song can make... Can make a miracle. The Most Precious Thing Tig! Are you still sleeping? Boom! Who's oh, sleeping? I've been up for a while. Well, are you ready for the competition? For the competition? Well, yeah, I'm ready, I think. In that case, <laughs> I'll race in there! Hey, wait! That's not fair! You have to say, on your mark, and ready, set, go! Wow! I beat you! Leo, that's not fair, because, uh, you've got longer legs. Oh, come on, Tig. <laughs> Legs have nothing to do with it. You just have to train more often. I have been training. Uh, like last week, uh, twice. Quiet, you two. Enough, kids. You shouldn't argue unless you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to the kingfisher and the owl. What, what happened, happened to them? Once upon a time, when the great cedar was just a teeny tiny little seed, there were two birds living in the forest, two good friends, the white-throated kingfisher and the owl. The two were inseparable, doing everything together and always helping each other out. But then one day, the kingfisher saw his reflection and became arrogant. He started to boast, just look at my wonderful feathers. I'm so handsome and colorful, and you are nothing but gray. That hurt the owl's feelings, so he flew away into the wild woods. What? Into the wild woods? As in, as in the wild woods are not for play? It's better if you stay away? Exactly, that's the one. Left without his friend, the kingfisher grew sad. And so, he decided to find the owl and apologize for the things he said. The kingfisher flew to the grizzled waterfall and asked him earnestly, Please, help me. Show me how to find my friend. The waterfall agreed to help the kingfisher, but only in exchange for his bright and colorful plumage. The kingfisher broke into tears. This is the most valuable thing I have. Nevertheless, he gave away his brightly colored feathers and got his friend back. And suddenly, he realized that he got it wrong. The most valuable thing was actually... Leo! Teague! I've been looking for you! Hurry up! The competition's about to start! Everybody's waiting for you! Oh, Mappa Pandiga, how are you? The competition? Wow, that's right! Tig, we completely forgot about uh -huh. it! Let's go! Let the competition begin right now! Yeah! Yeah! 
predators will run along the forest trail around the giant hill and come back to this spot. Our racers are Tig, Cuba, Mila, and our three-time favorite winner, Leo! Yeah! Yeah! Is everyone ready? On your mark? And get set? If it weren't for your shortcut, I would have won. Or you wouldn't have won. Ah, uh, calm down. It's just a race. Not fair. You don't get it. You've won many times, and I never win. So what if I win this time? Oh, Leo, what was that? Mouse! Somebody help me! <laughs> I think it's coming from there. From, from the, the wild, wild woods! Help me! Somebody! Save me! <laughs> help me! Please! I'm scared! <laughs> please! You gotta help me! Hold on! Please, please. We're coming! Help! Please help me! Please! Please! I'll get him! Please! Take him! Hey, hurry up! Please! Uh, Leo! Please stop I can't me. go any further! Uh, uh, I need to take a break! Pig! There's no time for a break! Come on, champion! Let's go! But I'm not a champion! You're the Tig, winner! Now is not the time! We need to save that poor bunny! I can't, Leo! Fine. I'll run after him, and you go get his help! My friends are coming for us. Mommy. It's all gonna be fine. Leo! 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 We are here! Leo! It's us! Leo, where are you? Don't worry. We will find him no matter what. Why am I wearing this thing? It's wrong. Leo was the real winner. I lied to you. Oh, wow! Look! It's just like in the story! Come on, guys, this way! Follow me! <laughs> I want my mommy! Don't be scared. My friend Tig? He's going to come and bring help. We'll get out of here. Wow! Look! A rainbow! A rainbow? Unbelievable! Leo! Beautiful rainbow! Leo! Tig! Tig, is so Tig great. we're down here at the bottom! Amazing! That's Tig! He made it! That's great! Yay! Leo! I found you! And I told everyone the truth! 
truth that you're the real winner. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, Tig, forget about that. It's all good. Get us out of here already. Climb up now, but be careful. Leo! Tig! High five! <laughs> So, whose wreath is it? Leo's! No, this is Tig's wreath. <laughs> well, Tig, first one to the old cedar is the winner. <laughs> Just a second. I'm gonna... <laughs> Train harder! <laughs> All right, I'm definitely getting there first. <laughs> you better go ahead. Far away, in the infinitely vast expanses of the sky, high above the tallest mountains and the prettiest clouds, way up high, is where the Red Deer lives. Sometimes he ventures down to the ground. The patter of his hooves makes the sound of thunder while the gleaming of his silver antlers makes the lightning. Being always hungry, he tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees as if they were grass blades. Nobody is safe from him. So if you see the red deer, run! <laughs> so there, that is how the story goes, kids. The Red Deer Yes, we can go out now. Yippee! <laughs> well then, off we go! Goodbye, Mappa Pendigo! Goodbye, Mappa Pendigo! Bye! Bye! It wasn't scary at all, that story. I don't know, it seemed pretty scary to me. Where's Leo? Guys! Come over here! Leo, where are all the trees? I think someone ate them. Oh! It was scary. Evil! The red deer! Rawr! Yara, it wasn't <laughs> funny. On the contrary, very funny. Good, it's going really well! Come on, come on, come on! Bosh! Let's get another log, lads! Wow! <laughs> so that's where all the trees went to! Mr. Beaver, what are you doing here? Can't you see? We're building a house dam, obviously. Stay out of our way. And two, three! <laughs> Whoa, look at that! It's a bridge! I've never been on the other side of the river before. <laughs> More reason, then, to check it out. Do you mind if we cross here, Mr. Beaver? Sure, go ahead. Just be careful. <sighs> no, we can't do that. My mom says... No, she doesn't. You're just afraid. Stop making excuses. Tig, come on! Afraid? Me? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, don't just stand there. Get back to work. Ugh. Oh, wow! Look at that giant tree! I've never seen anything so huge! Ah, oh, the great cedar. 
The father of the forest! Looks like a regular old tree. Let's go! <gasps> what if it doesn't want us to go any farther? <laughs> yeah, right. You make it sound as if the tree is magical or something. You don't know. What if it is magical? <laughs> Bunch of chickens. Me? Let's go. Told you. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Uh-huh. Sure. Just a bunch of birds. Hey, what's wrong? That's what the magical tree tried to warn us about. He tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees. So if you see the red deer... What happened? My son is missing. Marty, my poor baby. Missing? Just wait. I'll find him. We're coming with you. No! Take, take everyone to the river. I won't be long. All right, come on. You heard Leo. We're going to the river. Follow me. You don't need to worry. We're on it. We'll find your baby. Marty! Marty! Yo, Marty! That's where you are. Marty! You hear me? Marty! Huh? Oh. <laughs> we need to leave! <laughs> oh. Let's get out of here! Oh. Oh. Let's go there! Oh. This way! Hurry up! did you get here? <laughs> Is everyone else safe? Yeah, they're back at the river. We need to get out of here. Oh. Shh, be quiet. I think he's gone. them so long. I hope they didn't get lost. No. Oh, look! Look! Over there! There's someone running! Marty! Oh, that's my Marty! Mommy! I'm here! Boy's right. Or else the trees are gonna burn down. Come on, come on, come on. And two, and three, yeah. And again. The red deer! It's too close! Oh, 
We're not gonna make it! Jump on the log! Quick! Go in the water. Take again? Really? <laughs> it's just that it's a little too wet. Tig, paddle on! Oh. I guess we pulled it off! We did, huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We stopped the red deer! Kids, are you all right? I was looking for you everywhere. The red deer is not to be trifled with. Mapa Pandiga, we are fine! You should have seen us take down the red deer! And we saved the forest! Meow! <laughs> hey, look! Now there's four leopards among us! <laughs> You're right! <laughs> I'm a leopard! Okay, fine. The Silver River. You. Are you sick? Oh, no. I was just having such a dream. A dream? What was it about? I was flying over a silver river. And it was so awesome. <laughs> a flying leopard? I like to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the Silver River! Just like in my dream! <gasps> Whoa! Leo! Leo! No! Leo! <sighs> this is just a bunch of moths! Come on, Leo, there's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream! It wasn't just any dream! It was the best dream ever! And I was flying in it! Oh dear, we've upset our friend! And on his birthday, too! Um. Mapa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Um. And he really um. wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mapa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to 
make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver, where only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save him, yeah. and then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock! What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. <laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> Leopards don't fly. But I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially the cool. Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow! Of course I want to! Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! Uh, hey, watch it, okay? Oh, I can see Leo! And the Martins. Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock. What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm, something's not right. Come on, we have to follow them. <laughs> Go! Go over there, to the very edge! I can't see anything!
Tig! It's not the river that I found! I found the most important and the most valuable present on Earth! <laughs> I found true friends! <laughs> Tiger Kids is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> the most generous time is the autumn season. Autumn in Tiger. I hate autumn. Leo, move over. Snake! There's a snake! Snake? Snake! Ah! There's a snake! Where? Over there, under that tree! Right! So huge and angry! It almost bit off my tail. Tig, are you sure you saw it? Of course I'm sure. I almost lost my tail. <laughs> you chickens. You got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. Mappa, so the snake is now crawling around completely naked? Like a plain earthworm? But why? No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it, wearing a new one. <laughs> That's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. <clears throat> Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well or even crawl anymore. So the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake, carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. Mappa Pandiga, what was the name of that magical root? Oh, that root? 
was Jitsu. <laughs> the sun! Finally! <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, let's go to... Uh, to eat some grapes! Oh, I'm a little under the weather. Oh, and my back hurts. Mappa Pandiga, what's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mappa Pandiga! It looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Right, Leo. Let's go find that... Jasinji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? No, Teague. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right, and then ask him to help find the magical root. To cure our mappa. I don't think that Whip Snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. Who's a leech here? Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no, we don't taste good at all. Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really <gasps> sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause, to help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. Root can cure any disease. You know, Mappa Pandiga. Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. 
Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Now, wait. Take it, and say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. <sighs> Why do we even have to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games? And look, look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. Look at how majestic oh, our so tiger high. is in autumn. Woohoo! The view is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> look at that! You know what I always say, right? Autumn is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> Tiger can not only give you food, but also medicine. Skin of the Sun. A striped wool sack. Oh, let him be. Mappa Pandiga is waiting for us. Wow, Tig. Let's go. Let's see who's faster. Huh. Have you learned how to run? Oh, I'm gonna wait for you. Hi. Tig, come on, what's the problem? Seriously, not again, man. Look, I can leap there and back. Just jump. We're gonna be late. The striped one is afraid of heights again. <laughs> Let's take a roundabout. We'll have plenty of time. Oh, of course. A roundabout. Much faster. We'll be there by night. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> one gonna be late. <laughs> Well, well, where is it? Okay. Ah, oh, here it is. I found it. All right, kids. When my grandfather was a bear cub, a tiger lived in the giant forest full of trees, beautiful lakes, and formidable peaks. The tiger. He was weak and chicken-hearted, so nobody was afraid of him. Once, a severe drought came. The tiger thought, Oh, the sun must be the strongest animal in the world. I wish I'd become this strong. So the tiger decided to lay paws on the skin of the sun. But the skin was guarded by a fierce bear. Uh, but Pandiga, was he as fierce as you? No, no. A saber-toothed bear. 
He resides in his big black cave and protects the way of the stone claw, the place where the sun is nesting. So the tiger sneaked past the saber-toothed bear while he was asleep and put on the skin of the sun. The tiger became the most fearless animal in the forest. All the animals and the tiger bowed their heads to him. It was on Equilibrium Day, when night is equal to day. I want to get this skin, too. Tig, I know where the stone claw is. I saw the sun setting down there. And today's Equilibrium Day. The Hurry skin up. of the sun? Thank, Thank you, you Mama, Mama Pepin. I have to get this skin. Lil, what do you think? Was it for real? All the things that Pandiga told us about? Sure. You heard it, man. I wish I'd become the bravest tiger in the whole forest. How long do you think we've been running for? Huh? What was that? Hey, Tig. We're gonna get the skin of the sun for you, and you'll become the bravest one on Earth. Tig? Tig, what is it now? You just have to walk on this very huge, very wide log. Come on, come on. That's right. Good job. Don't look down. Just look at me. That's it. Okay. No! Tig, hold on! Leo! Oh, God, Leo! Back home? Up the river? Oh no, we're never gonna make it at this rate. Okay, it's not the way. And here is not the way either. Where is it, huh? Aha! Look over there! What did Baba Pandiga tell us? Come and put your paw on the sun tree in the evening, and the way will be enlightened. Run along towards the sunset! <gasps> Leo! Look! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. Tig, stop talking! <laughs> Let's run! The cave of the saber tooth bear! We can't go further! Hmm. How can we climb this mountain? Set soon! Faster! Faster! Run, Tig! We gotta get there before the sun goes down! Leo, I think we'd better go back. Come on, Tig! Forget it! Stupid skin! Maybe it doesn't even exist! No skin? What are you talking about? It must be there! Mappa said to catch the sun before it goes down! So run! Come on, come on, we're almost there! The rock is so close! Oh wow! Look at this! We're so high! Is this the place? Shh, keep quiet! This is the cave of the saber-toothed bear! Whose cave? You mean the saber-toothed... 
Oh, no thanks, so pass. Me neither. Look there! The stone claw! Let's go! <laughs> Leo! Careful! Uh, you know what? You better go on your own. Wait there! I'll bring the skin! The sting of the sun! I'll be the mightiest in the whole forest! Come on, go down now! What was that noise? Ah, the spotted one! <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey, you. What, what do you, you want? You're doing here? The skin is mine! Buzz off all you can! No way! I'm here to get it! And I won't leave without it! What? You won't leave? Well, we're gonna help you! Leo! I'm coming! Ting! Hold on, Leo! Leo! I can't! Ting! Hurry up! I'm losing grip! I can't do it! I'm sorry, Leo! Tig, is it you? Where's the... what's the name? The saber-toothed bear? Well, I don't know. I was too busy running away. I didn't notice any saber-toothed bears. You know, Tig, you don't need no skin. You're the bravest tiger in the world. Oh, oh, sounds like a saber-toothed bear. <laughs> Keep cool. That's my mom. That's your mom? Quite a mom you have. <gasps> uh -oh. That must be the saber tooth bear. No, no. That one's my mom. We better get home and fast. Everybody has a skin. But to make it glow like the sun, you need to find your path. <clears throat> Every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the Taiga. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the Taiga is everywhere. In the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time! And this was the one before that. Oh! Uh, but here! No way they'll find me here. Leo! Look at this! Hmm. Tig, follow me! Oh dear. Dear. Oh dear. So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila. Come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no. One more time, please. The last one. <sighs> Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then. The very last time. I swear. Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where should ten, I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ready or not, here I come. Ha! Tig! I found you! Oh, hey! That's not fair! You counted too fast! No, 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 no! Here! There! There! No, 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 no! There! What should I do? They'll find me here, too! Oh, oh a cave! I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me! Oh! What darkness! Oh boy! Oh! 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 
this a good spot to hide? she would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look, it's Mila's flower. She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! Oh, come on! No, no! Oh, fine, you win, Leo! I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow! Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. Leo, where are we? We're in a cave, and Mila was definitely here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing! Oh, wow! Look, Tig! Whoa. Here are tracks! Awesome! Tig, hurry up! Whoa! Whoa! Ah, Leo! Wait for me! Don't leave me alone! <sighs> Mila, Mila! <sighs> Can we take a break? No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! Tig! That's Mila! She's over there! Oh, okay, fine. Right behind you. <laughs> Why did I climb into this cave? <laughs> Mila, we're coming! Leo! I'm in here, guys! I'm here! Leo! Oh. Oh, no. Oh. I'm in here, guys! I'm here! Mila! In here! Thank you, guys! You did it! You found me! <laughs> you were so... <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. That's what we do. Everything will be fine now. Leo, how do we get out of here? Huh. I don't know. We just... followed Mila's voice. Leo, tell me you're joking. Tell me that you just didn't get us lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Uh, uh, Mila, don't be afraid. Do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked. 
find my way. He helped me, and here you guys are. Wait, who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, but these pretty crystals started to show me the way. Crystals? Mila, I think I got it. It's the spirit of the taiga. Remember Pandiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff. I know how to get out of here. We'll get help from the spirit of the taiga. The spirit of the taiga is the soul of nature. He's everywhere. Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it! There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga, would you please help us to find a way home? Thank you, Spirit of the Taiga! Now guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like he can guide us outside. Leo... Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you! Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the Spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? See that. Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, uh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! Ah! <laughs> Hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! Well, Dick, how about that? Exactly what you asked for, really fast! Right, in the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him! <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. Let's go home! Hurry up! You're unbelievable! The spirit of the taiga is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. <laughs>